Hi everybody and welcome back to Scrap Knots. I'm Photoni M and we are going to today go into the third biome which this cactus area is the second one and we're gonna go into this area where we have never been and I'm gonna do things a little bit differently today. I am gonna focus on the quest whatever the quest happens to be. Well done. We can carry on. Wait a few hours ago, I heard disturbing sounds. Wait a few hours ago. Other robots? I don't know, but it's something big. Come back to me when it's safe. Be careful. Rusty just got his legs working and he does not want to jeopardize that. I get it. Um, check the way out. I mean, I'm not going to resist titanium. Okay, yes I am. It's too far away. I'll come back. Like, you don't need to watch me mine titanium on this. Oh boy. Oh, oh boy. I'm just looking for chests. Something big. Okay, Rusty kind of scared me with that talk of something big. Alright. More cave. Uh, ooh, what's this? Ooh. <gasps> Defense health. There we go. Ah! What? <gasps> that was weird. Defense health. I, you, as far as I could tell, I tried, um, I tried to just use the keyboard to do those things and it didn't work, so, okay, I can't, oh, I have to hold it down and mine it. Okay. Ooh, the sensor is pretty good. Now the question is, number one, is this treasure going to be just as bad? It's right next to a boss. Our first boss! Our first boss! I was so confused that I didn't even notice. Okay, it was stone bricks. I'm just wondering, do I go back to Rusty or go through the hatch? Not now. I go back to Rusty. Okay. Um, I think it might be faster to go back to Rusty this way. Just through the front entrance of the mine here. Oh, of course he's not standing there. There he is. The passage is already safe. Great, did you have any problems now? I don't want to know. Let's meet at the exit. Let's go. Um. So... I guess they didn't want to animate Rusty, right? But, come on. Uh, what do we got? Okay. Blue books are like, um, I don't know. Did I see the way out? Yes. <laughs> no. I thought yes, but no. Okay. So, just seeing all the same uh, minerals in the cave. And here we are. Somewhere. Oh. We're out in the ocean. Okay. Um, okay, there's an area for a camp, what I've been calling base. And that's probably a teleport up above, and guess what? I do have a red thing. I know what I said about the quest, doing the quest first, but I want to... Like, a teleporter is super helpful. Yeah. 
pretty sure I brought one. Alright. Oh yeah. Ooh. This is like a pro gaming experience here. This is... This is uh, pretty, pretty hot shit. Okay, why don't I see the red X over here? With the red arrow. I mean, maybe because I'm so close. Nice place. Seems a bit more secure than the others. Perhaps it is worth setting up another camp here. <laughs> I will think about it. What's next? The last oxygen filter needs repair. Can you help me? Yes, but in a slightly different way. I will explore the area during this time. I'll come back to you as soon as I notice that the air is getting clean. Okay, I'm just not understanding the map, right? I can't be alone here. Um, Okay. Oh. So this is underground here, I guess. Um, I meant to bring oxygen, but I didn't. So potentially, when if this starts getting too low, let's equip a weapon. We're gonna have to teleport back. Um. Oh boy. <gasps> These look the same as what we've already encountered. Uh, let's uh, heal up. Okay, oxygen filter. Canned food. And I'm already at not quite half oxygen, but just looking to see if there's anything over there. So there is a building right here. Potentially we can just go outside, inside of it, and, oh, there's no way in. Is there? Okay. Um, oh, it's our first, okay. We are going to teleport back to here, to the original camp, because that's where I have green crystal. So it's our first use for green crystals. Blue chips, chips, big generator, and platinum. Okay, so I'm going to gather all this stuff off screen, and then we'll, uh, we'll get together. Okay, so I've got everything gathered up here. Green crystal, four chips, three blues, two platinums, a big generator. Let's make sure that's the right one. <laughs> Okay, I also wanted to show you, I did all the books we picked up, we've unlocked the entire um, tree here for crafting. Um, meteorite pickaxe would be our highest damage thing that we can make, I think. 58, 56, yeah. Uh, and it requires five meteorite, which I do have from the drill on the other base. But, eh, you know, who cares? I, what we have is fine. It's working fine. So... Let's go fix an oxygen machine. This is my closest teleport. Hmm, I got confused. Ooh, there's purple gems sitting out on the ground here. That's cool. Oops. There you go. And green crystals, which I may have been calling gems. All right, and the air is clear. It's like Sesame Street. Oh yeah, um, if you don't have anything selected, when you go into fight mode, it automatically selects your weapon. So that's kind of nice. Why am I picking stuff up? I don't know. Mm. Uh, and I also did not... I looked at the other building, but not this one. Let's just make sure. Because if I can find more blue books, that would be cool. Um, it's nice too. So one thing about these uh, more advanced, 
I forgot the way to Rusty. I, it's uh, it's right next to me. Oh, he came here. Uh, Rusty doesn't like bad oxygen. Uh, one thing about the more advanced robots is that it means that all of our minerals are renewable resources. Takes a little longer. Well done. I looked around the area. Looks like you're not the only survivor. Oh. Can I find other people here? A few days ago, another ship crashed on this side of the island. Hmm, strange. I spoke to him. He's waiting for us in the lab building. Let's meet there. Yes, I know where the lab building is. The lab building is way far away. Oh, wow. Okay, good thing I fixed some air. Look at all the uh, question marks um, that we're not going to explore. I mean, we might look at some that are on our way. We might pick up purple herbs. I don't think I mentioned this on camera, but I'm pretty convinced that herbs do not regrow. Or if they do, it's super slow. I think I just passed day 30 in game. Yeah, day 30 is what we're on. So um, maybe it takes a month to grow an herb. That would be kind of like reality. Ooh, I like you. Yeah. Okay, I wish I could zoom out. Just to see this area looks really pretty. Okay, folks. Cave. I'm not gonna explore. I just want to see if, like, right down at the very entrance, if it was different. That doesn't count as exploring. And it doesn't look different. Well, we're back. I mean, we're at our- we're at the laboratory. We're back on camera. And I don't see other survivors. I was lied to. Oh, there's another door, though. What now? The survivor's waiting for you in the second room. He will tell you a new plan. So I'm very impatient in regular, everyday life as well. Like, you said survivor, where's the survivor? Oh, there's another room. Alright, ooh. This guy has an outfit, uh, much like our own. You have finally arrived. A few days ago I heard a bang when I fixed the power supply in the radio towers. It had to be you. My ship suddenly lost power. A strange coincidence. What is this machine in the middle? Teleporter. Inactive. It can move people between all structures like this. This one was probably used to travel to the central island. How do you know that? I found the teleportation key here. Unfortunately, it is damaged and the portal has no energy source. The teleportation key? What is it? The teleporter needs to know the destination. The key stores such information. What is in the central part of the island? From the information I have gathered, I know that this is the most technologically advanced part of the island. I found information about an airstrip in the crater of a volcano. Maybe we can find a ship. Can you fix that key? Finding a power source will be a bigger problem. Maybe red crystals will help. This is a completely different structure. We need something much stronger. Give me one day, I'll figure out what we'll do. Can I do anything during this time? I know that you have a building gun. There's a special circle near the laboratory. I think it's worth setting up a camp there. Come back tomorrow. Okay. Set up a new camp. And Rusty doesn't want to talk to me. Oh, there's an oxygen potion. Better grab that. So... Uh huh. Of course I didn't bring any more red crystals, I don't think. Although there, there might be sitting around on the ground. I haven't been paying attention. Oh yeah, here's some. So is this a teleporter is what we want to know. Yep. Okay. blue book and some red crystal. I'll put them next to my red flowers. Herbs. Use the right terminology. I failed to pick up that food before. 
And ooh, Mithril Hammer is worse than a pickaxe. Crystal Hammer, of course, would be worse than that. Eh, it's fine. So when they say set up a new camp, what does that mean? Like, what's the minimum for it to be a camp? To discover it is the minimum. So potentially, um, oh, let's do this. Uh, in the other ones, there were different things available at different camps. Well, seed maker, this all looks the same as the original camp. And that looks the same. And these are the same so far, all the same as the original camp, different from the desert. All the same. Yo. And same. So I'm not sure. The only thing I can think of to put here would be the teleportation. And even then, as long as I stay out of here, it won't get attacked, I think. And if it does get attacked, what would they be attacking? So I don't think there's any point in setting up a camp there. So uh, let's do a little exploration. Let's go look at what looks like a water front. Okay, we're at one of the question marks in your camp and I see a huge meteorite in the middle of it. Discovered oh, Stonehenge. I discovered Stonehenge and I forgot fighting all at once. Alchemy for what appears to be no reason. And I already checked the exits on this area and they were garbage. So, cool, meteorite. Okay, so what looks like water on the map is not water, it's cliffs. Um, but let's see over here. Yeah, this part is water, which we can walk in. So this is apparently a lake. And it's extremely loud to walk in. <laughs> so I guess that explains how we had our camp out here. Come on, map. In what looked like water is that it's actually inside of those cliffs, maybe? On top of the cliffs, maybe? No, when I clicked on it, it said up. Oh. Um. So now I'm just kind of exploring some of these areas. Um, not interested in this one so much, although we might find blue books. Um, actually, I'm curious because that's a crafting table. Maybe it's more advanced? No. That might be something, is to set up the crafting table, especially alchemy, at the new camp and see if there's different recipes. Crystal mace, huh? Okay, so it's dark, but we want to see what's on the island. Frig, as my mom would say. Yeah. Uh, ooh, some pumpkin. So we're finding a lot better weaponry out here, except that it's worse than what we can make. Oh. That's interesting. Is it marked as a cave on here? Yes. So I'm just going to teleport back, um, drop stuff off, sleep, and come back here. Okay, I slept and dropped off my junk and refilled my oil. And it's been a day, so let's go talk to uh, the other survivor. Welcome back. I talked to Rusty, I think we can fix the portal. Are you ready to help? I was born ready, baby. 
First we need an energy transmitter. You should find it in a nearby shelter. Come back when you get it. Go to shelter. Okay. Uh, oh. Of course it's the one I already went to. Like... <laughs> uh, it's fine. Oh, by the way, you hold down space to run faster. I don't want to deal with you right now, Mr. Robot. And you are very much right in my path. And, ah, get... Dumb guy. Really? I can't walk around that thing. Before I just punted it. Okay, and the robots have respawned. That's interesting. I mean, I know they respawned, but I just didn't know how fast. Overnight, maybe. Kill you. Gosh, I'm like fighting so poorly it made me think I was using the shovel. No, no, it's just bad. Just bad. Bad. I thought I went in here, but there's a health potion in here. Maybe I didn't. Energy transmitter. Yeah, I guess not. Oops. Oh. You really need longer arms, dude. Skill book. Hmm. I have a transmitter. Good job! Go talk to Rusty. He knows where you can find a good power source. Rusty knows all the, where all the good shit is. Yeah. Uh, what is our next objective? After repairing the radio towers, I detected light interference in the southern part of the forest. It is possible that there is an energy source there. You should explore this place in your spare time. Okay, now... Talk with Rusty. I wasn't paying attention. I read it out loud, but I didn't register what it said. You were right. I found something strange and glowing. Oh, apparently I already explored it? It looks useful. Talk to the survivor. Oh, that was the power source I found next to the flying saucer thing in the original uh, um, biome. So, what? let's see. I found a strange object. Can you check it out? Hmm, looks useful. I will need a few more wires and an energy stabilizer. Where should I go this time? There's a factory in the swamps in the southern part of the island. It's a good place to look. Come back when you find something. Good luck. Quest done. Oh, okay. Go to the factory. Okay. So, I was saying before, you know, maybe some of this stuff will be used in future quests. Um, and, you know, it is. So that's good. Uh, I'm, I'm glad that all these uh, neat areas that they've created. I mean, we kind of knew it because when I found that thing before, it had the exclamation point over it. Okay, so now we're going into this tree circle biome. Basically, what I would have done before is stop and explore the rest of this uh, biome. And we are not going to do that because there's really no need. Let's see, how much hunger do I have? 40? Okay. I don't like to just... I don't want to like wait, even though I have more food than I could ever use. I still don't want to waste it. I also don't want to walk through this camp because then it increases the likelihood that it might get attacked. I, I'm pretty sure the time that you spend in the camp is what triggers the attacks. You're gone. You're dead. Huh. Yeah. Like fighting, there's no purpose to it, I guess. If I needed some more mineral more um minerals and to me like just mining them is easier. Here we are in the oh I forgot about oxygen. Oh boy. In the tree circles thing biome. Hmm, it's a ways in. So we might have to go get some oxygen for this. Let's just try it. 
And are we seeing on the ground like interesting minerals and stuff? Okay. We're seeing some kind of swamp. I don't remember seeing water. Oh, okay. That's these wavy lines. So is this supposed to be a mangrove or something? Because oh, those aren't like normal swamp trees. At least what you'd get in the U.S. Um, Alright. Health is low. Are we... Okay, good, we made it. Um, wires, right on. Mm, skill book. I'm just making sure there's nothing I could just turn it on that shelf. Now that I figured out turning. Hmm, that door said that it goes to outside. Okay, energy stabilizer. And, ooh, titanium hammer. Don't mind if I do. Okay. Um, so there's this spoof that Ben Stiller did of the Titanic movies, and they call it Titani. And because <laughs> it's like you see that just half of the ship, so you don't see all of t Titanic. And so whenever I see Titanium, I think of Titani. Talk to the survivor. Um, you might think I would take that. Yeah, okay. There. I'll find I'll grab your oxygen. So that if and when we go back into that area, we have some oxygen with us. Okay. Okay, so we'll do this one too. Ah, why? Uh, I have found it, is that all? Yes! We already have all the necessary parts to power the portal, but we still don't have a working key. Can you fix it? I think so, but I need a scheme. I'll talk to Rusty. Um, I need a scheme of the, the teleportation key. I don't know where you can find it. But you try visiting the magazine. Which magazine? There's a shelter in the swamps where they stored many unused items. I'll check this place out. Okay. Um. Go to the shelter. So I've got two oxygen potions. I didn't need a potion at all to get to the middle of the map. I think we'll be fine. If these are buildings you can go inside, we'll definitely be fine. And I'm also going to mark the entrance to that area. There we go. Yay! Okay. I just happened on this shelter, but I'm going into them because they'll replenish my oxygen. Titanium axe. Very nice. Well, maybe I should go into more of them if they're going to give me titanium weapons. Uh, let's see. Um, I, I was just checking my oxygen level. But, since my... Oh, let's put this on my bar, too. Okay, I'm at a uh, new area on the map. Oops. I came over here thinking it might be, you know, a building that I could go into. To get oxygen, but um, it's a temple. I didn't really think about that. Not all the areas are covered or enclosed or whatever indoors. Okay, so we're here at the destination shelter. I guess I'll pick up an oxygen tank. Titanium pickaxe for sure. Portal key. Talk to the survivor. I would talk to the survivor, but one thing we didn't do is check out the treasure on this part of the map. And you know, it just might be something awesome. I swear I saw one right over here. Oh, yep. Yeah. I 
sure did, but that guy's gonna attack me first. Attack me with my titanium hammer. Um, don't recommend it, dude. I do not. And since we just came out of the shelter, our oxygen is fine. So we can do this. And we got scrap. Good. Just what we wanted. Got some scrap. I mean, you guys are killing me. I really want to know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Nobody told me to do this. This wasn't like feedback from comments or something. I really want to know if there's a teleporter over here. Okay. Guess what? The first building is a teleporter. Because I'm a damn genius. That's what it is. Okay. Not smart enough to get out of fight stance, but I am smart enough to find teleporters. Did I bring a red crystal? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you doubted whether I had a red crystal. Okay, let's take a look. No titanium! Ah. Uh, rip. Okay, oh, oxygen potion, I might as well. Okay, now we will, I'm not gonna explore the other two because we found our teleporter. So let's continue on. Uh, I am I am almost finished, the power supply will be working tomorrow. I found a disc that looks similar to the teleportation key from the lab. Hmm, probably leads to another place, but the mechanism of action is identical. We'll use it to test the portal, come back tomorrow. So I waited a day. I, tr I built some more drills on my desert base and um, drilled. Everything seems to be working. The portal is open. What's on the other side? If you are brave enough, you can go first. Oh yeah, I'm brave enough, baby. Use the portal. I need something to eat. Okay. Good thing I'm reading what's on the screen <laughs> for you guys. Who knows if I would have seen that. Uh, okay, so um, it's getting close to the time of the day where I have to stop recording, so we'll see how far we get here. Um, explore the island, okay. Can do. Oh, they have titanium out in the open here. I like this island. Okay, or do they mean island as in out here in the water? No, they don't seem to need that. Okay, um... I mean, it seems likely that they want me to explore along the road. I just wasted a whole bunch of time not doing that. Run! Don't run anymore. Your running has an endurance timer thing. Okay, here's something. Oh. Quest updated. Talk to the survivor. Okay. Let's see. Um, I wonder if that means I have to go back through this portal to talk to the survivor. I see an exclamation point. Nope. I don't think anyone expected that. I found a construction circle. It's an interesting and safe place for a base. This place was probably used for testing. It's a dead end, but you can stay here until I fix the teleportation key. Have a good rest. End of early access content. Thanks for playing Scrap Nut in early access. We are open to suggestions and new ideas. You can also expect frequent updates. Um, you won't see this message again, now you can spend some time exploring and building. So, wow, okay. I'm wondering when this is the second place they said was safe. So does that mean I don't have to have any turrets? Because that would make it a lot more enjoyable to have a base. Um, but also, uh, I'm wondering if, since this is on an island with sand, does that mean we can build the desert type buildings? So yeah, this is the same farming as in the desert. 
these are all the same. So if you don't need turrets and stuff, that's the place where it would be worth building a house because you'd have more space. No. So I can't build a teleporter here. I'm pretty sure this is the menu that had the teleporter. And I can't build a drill. Let me make sure. Yep, yeah, right. And special. Oh, that's too bad that you can't build a teleporter here. Although it's... So you'd have to teleport to that other place. Or potentially there's one here on the island. Um, and then... Sorry, I keep saying um so much. You'd have to teleport to the by the portal, then use the portal. Then come over here. Um... So what I'm going to do is just see if south of here or something there might be a teleporter because that would really be too bad. Oh, there's meteorite. Okay. So I built three more drills, so I have a total of four drills and um, the first time I used all four I got some meteorite, so I don't think it's going to be impossible to keep a stock of meteorite, so I can start using meteorite weapons and stuff. I'll use up the titanium that I have. Yeah, no teleporter. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. Well, we've finished all the quests for this um, part of the game um, that are available, and also it's getting time where I have to stop recording anyway, so this is definitely the end of the episode. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Photon Emitter. I am going to do another episode where I probably explore some of the things or just give you an update on what I've been able to find or next time, you know, a content update comes out, we'll definitely do that. So stay tuned for those. Thank you so much for watching. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.